Hi, this is Clark Taylor, and today I'm talking with Adam DeFrisco, and we just uh, we've been talking about uh, the latest Broadcore uh, Google al algorithm update, which just finished rolling out. It started in uh, I think it was May 22nd, Adam, and just 25th, finished, 25th, and and just yeah. finished rolling out uh, here early in June. So, um, you know, we pay attention to these Google uh, algorithm updates, especially when Google you know says it was a Broadcore algorithm update, and we're expecting big changes. And one of the things that we're noticing is that in particular with e-commerce sites, um, we think that the SERPs have changed quite a bit. And so that's what we wanted to talk about and just show you some, some examples of some things we're seeing. So Adam, do you, um, you want to screen share or do you want to kind of talk about what, you, what you're seeing? Yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, share my screen. Uh, like you said, we're seeing these, uh, seeing these big jumps and these trends in the SERPs we've been seeing for some time, but, uh, this algorithm update, I feel like it really just uh, really just rocketed some of them. Uh, so the three that we're looking at here, and I'll zoom in in just a second, uh, but the three that we're looking at here are uh, the knowledge graph, the free product listings, as well as the images showing up in Google search results. So let's go ahead and look at knowledge graph first. So knowledge graph, um, I'm sure, lots of people know is the uh, big box that kind of tells you everything you need to know about a subject. If you Google, uh, what are some examples of good knowledge graphs? If you Google Ben Franklin, um, brand, normally- uh, Brand queries, um, yeah. right? And, and some, some product queries and also general, uh, just informational queries sometimes generates a knowledge graph, right? Exactly. And Google will pull information from a bunch of different sources and try to compile them into one smart knowledge graph. Um, so we see the annotation here on the bottom that May 25th, that's the beginning of this algorithm update. And we can see how much the, these are keywords, these are the number of keywords that are triggering knowledge graphs in the SERPs, if that makes sense. So we can see that rise and rise and rise uh, all the way up until uh, June 9th, which is when the algorithm stopped rolling out. So this is one that we're seeing. I haven't personally seen this in SERPs that I follow, um, but I'm definitely seeing it in the chart here. This this chart is, uh, we're, we're using um, SEO Clarity um, here for this, but is this for a one particular client and one, one particular industry or is this? Um... Correct. This is one, you can consider one keyword universe. Uh, that we're looking at here. And, and this is kind of in the home, this is in, this particular client is in the home goods industry, correct? Correct. Yeah. And it's uh, e-commerce in the home goods mm -hmm. industry. Okay. One, the other one that we're definitely seeing uh, firsthand impact on is the free product listings. Um, so free as opposed to uh, paid and just the product listings that come up. And this, this is something that Clark, you and I have been talking about for a long time. We've been seeing these product listings creep up uh, for quite some time now, but it seems like this algorithm update really uh, took it to another level. So these, these product listings are a result of the Merchant Center uh, product feeds. Correct. And we're seeing not only in what this graph is not showing, this is showing, uh, like I said, keywords that trigger this in the SERPs. What it's not showing is the position of the, those free product listings. So in many cases, we're seeing these product listings go into the first spot, second spot, way high up on the SERPs, which means if you're ranking in the two, three, four position, you have the particular, and even in the one position, I guess you have the potential to get knocked way down. Um, and I actually have an example of that. If we wanna take a look here. So this is, uh, again, a tool that we use from SEO Clarity. Um, and this is for the keyword well pressure tanks. And on the left side, we can see the SERP from uh, January 2nd of this year. And then on the right side, we see a SERP from the 9th. Keep in mind, everything that we're, all the graphs that we're looking at and this is all mobile only. Um, 
but we can see an example of this happening firsthand where these on the right side, you can see popular products, this product listing, this is coming in and sliding right into that second spot. So for example, if your lows, even though their rank is still technically two, they haven't changed rank, you got to imagine that their clicks would decline, right? Because of this giant product listing. Mm -hmm. Right. And, 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 you know, in the client, the, the, the home goods client that we were talking about and you were sharing the, the graphs from them, we know that that's the same situation they're in. There's a, a really important keyword that they, they are still ranking number one, technically, if you think about the 10 uh, blue links um, on, mm -hmm. or, uh, you know, organic search, they still rank number one, but the problem is um, they're now halfway down the page on a mobile device. You have to scroll halfway or more than halfway down the page before you see that, that traditional organic uh, number one result. So right. it's really it's really hurting them um, as far as their their rankings go, but it's also hurting in traffic because those merchant center feeds feature multiple, um, you know, the same the same product from multiple different brands. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the last one that we're seeing here, uh, besides the knowledge graph and the free product listing, um, the other SERP feature that I'm seeing seeing a lot of movement in, and this one's probably the most dra drastic, but it's the other way. This is a decline and it is images. So if you uh, Google, you know, blue hockey skate, normally the SERP will have probably in the first position for something that descriptive, it'll have an image. It'll show images of blue hockey skates, right? Um, so this happens for a lot of keywords. It always has, and it seems like this uh, algorithm update has caused a huge downward turn. And I've actually seen this. I checked on a lot of different industries. This one is pretty consistent. So I'm seeing Google take uh, their images, their image search out of the uh, kind of text search results. Have you noticed this at all? I, I haven't, but I mean, this is really interesting because uh, up until now, I mean, we saw Google See, seeming to favor image and image search becoming, you know, more important. And so this seems like a reversal of that, of that trend. Yeah, maybe, I mean, maybe they're trying to split up a little bit more the, uh, the text searches and the image searches, and um, maybe they need to make room for more of the product listings. More, more of the, yeah, more of the shopping feed listings. More of the shopping feeds. Yeah. So it's this is another one, I guess, I, do, how, how impactful do you think this would be for businesses? I, I'm not sure. I mean, it's something that we have to, you know, take a look at a deeper dive into analytics and see if we can figure out how it's impacting. I mean, we, we know that, um, you know, for the, 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 the client example that we're using for these charts, we know that it's, it's directly impacting the traffic um, that they're getting from traditional organic search. But I, I think it's also really important to make sure that you're uh, you're tracking, you're able to separate out traffic coming from uh, your shopping feeds. Um, and I, I know that also this particular client has trouble with inventory mm -hmm. and, and, and their shopping feeds. So that could be impacting them um, as well. Right. I don't know if, if anybody else is seeing um, any other similar trends or something even completely un, unrelated. Uh, definitely mention it in the comments. Absolutely. <coughs> Other than that, all the SERP features seem to be pretty stable, um, but yeah, big, big changes in uh, shopping going on. Absolutely. All right. Take care. Thanks. Bye.